It's 10 trivia questions on Sprite, Spice Girls, MLB, and more from a confidence round. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks so much for checking out the show. If you heard about it from a friend, thank that friend immediately. If you like trivia, this is the podcast for you. And if you have a friend who loves trivia, maybe plays with you on your weekly trivia team night, send them a link to your favorite episode. Say, hey, how'd you do on this quiz? Here's what I got. You could battle each other. You could practice for that next big tournament at your local pub and have some fun doing it. We've got a great quiz from a confidence round, 10 totally random questions, no set category coming up. But before we get to that, we've got our categories warm-up game. Give me three answers that all start with S. Here are your prompts, reasons to call 911, excuses for being late, and items in a kitchen. All starting with the letter S, reasons to call 911, excuses for being late, and items in a kitchen. We are jumping right into this quiz right now. Here we go. It's confidence round trivia. Question number one. What MLB team is home to the famous racing sausage mascots? Number one. What MLB team is home to the famous racing sausage mascots? Number two. What two politicians participated in the first televised presidential debate in 1960? Number two. What two politicians were in that first TV debate in 1960? Number three, whose 90s album title was a miseducation? Number three, whose 90s album title was a miseducation? Number four, what Denver Broncos quarterback retired after winning his second Super Bowl ring in 2016? What Broncos quarterback retired after winning his second Super Bowl ring in 2016? Number five, what political activist and filmmaker was born in Flint, Michigan on April 23rd, 1954? What political activist and filmmaker was born in Flint, Michigan, April 23rd, 1954? Number six, what fad diet was developed by cardiologist Arthur Agatston? Number six, what fad diet was developed by cardiologist Arthur Agatston? Number seven, what famous wrestler comes out to a song called Sexy Boy? Number seven, what famous wrestler comes out to a song called Sexy Boy? Number eight, how many grams of sugar are in a 12-ounce can of Sprite? 28, 38, or 48 grams? Number eight, how many grams of sugar in Sprite? 28, 38, or 48 Number nine, what first name is shared by two members of the Spice Girls? What first name is shared by two members of the Spice Girls? And number 10, Tom Parada wrote a sequel novel called Tracy Flick Can't Win. What was his first book called, which was also made into a movie? Number 10, Tom Parada wrote a sequel novel called Tracy Flick Can't Win. What was his first book called, also made into a movie? Those are all your questions for the confidence round today. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to confidence round trivia. 10 random Q's, 10 random A's. Here's number one. What MLB team is home to the famous racing sausage mascots? That's the Milwaukee Brewers. They love sausage up there and beer and cheese. Milwaukee Brewers. Number two, what two politicians were in that first televised presidential debate, 1960? JFK, Kennedy, and Nixon. Kennedy and Nixon. Number three, whose 90s album title was a miseducation? Lauren Hill, the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Number four, what Denver Broncos quarterback retired after winning his second Super Bowl ring in 2016? Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Number five, what political activist and filmmaker was born Flint, Michigan? April 23rd, 1954, Michael Moore, Bowling for Columbine, etc. Number six, what fad diet was developed by cardiologist Arthur Agatston? That is the South Beach diet, South Beach diet. 
Number seven, what famous wrestler comes out to a song called Sexy Boy? That's the Heartbreak Kid. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Number eight, how many grams of sugar in a 12-ounce can of Sprite? It was the middle choice, not 28 or 48, but 38 grams. Number nine, what's the first name shared by two members of the Spice Girls? That's Mel, Melanie, C and B. And number 10, Tom Parada wrote a sequel novel called Tracy Flick Can't Win. I just read this book on a plane. It was really good. Uh, his first book was Election. It was made into the movie Election was with uh, Reese Witherspoon and Matthew Broderick. And I think they're making this into a sequel where uh, Tracy Flick is like in her late 40s and she's the vice principal at a school. So uh, similar tone and told from a bunch of different characters' perspectives. Uh, but pretty good book. Excited for the movie coming out. Election was the answer to the last one. And there you have it. Another quiz, another episode. About 1,600 of these in the books. And uh, you can find any topic by searching trivia with buds and then that thing. So Seinfeld or Disney or Harry Potter or whatever you want, just search it or scroll through the feed on Spotify or iTunes, etc. until you find the one you want. Fact of the day is McDonald's tried being a drop-off location to develop film on your <laughs> instant camera um, or your those disposable cameras, rather, in the year 2000. In the year 2000, you get your film developed. It did not last long. And your letters were, uh, your letter was S. Your questions were reasons to call 911. I'm going to say stolen car. Stolen anything, really. Stolen stuff. Uh, excuses for being late. You were sick. And items in a kitchen, a spatula. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for booking me for your upcoming holiday parties at TriviaWithBuds.com. New website coming in November. And we'll see you next time for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.